Alright, let me go back to my original spot really quick. Alright, hang on. Let me go back to my original spot way really quick, alright? I think that would be a better angle to go at. Okay, so. Hang on a second. <laughs> I'm just switching my angling here. I gotta switch to another angle. Why did you come over here? <laughs> Why did I come over here yeah. to film the Osprey? Do you live near here? I do. I live here in St. Mary's. That's um, like maybe like a mile from here. Oh, okay. And then I went to St. Mary's Lake and I saw an Osprey nest on that light pole over there. And then this year I saw two new Osprey nests being built for the first time. And um, this was the first of the two. This was the first nest. And then the second new nest is actually on the light pole that's closest to the lake. The St. Mary's Lake. The one you first saw. That's oh, right. There two there's there? two nests at oh. St. Mary's Lake. There's two nests over there and there's one nest over here. This nest was just built a few weeks ago. And then the other nest that's actually maybe not... A, a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. And then the nest that's over there, that's not not on that light pole, but the, but the one that you can't see, which is the one closest to the lake, that one was just built a couple weeks ago. Oh. Huh. I saw the male osprey on a tree, but he kept flying away from me. He didn't let me film him. <laughs> How do you tell the male and the female part? The male and the female. The female has more brown markings on the chest. Also... The female is larger than the male. Ma um, female birds are always larger than their male counterparts. And what else is there to note about them? Well, the female is usually the one that's protecting the nest. So the male is the one that does more hunting than the female. So if you see the female by herself, like you know it's the female. <laughs> Are they are they speaking now? They're, they're, uh, those are there. Is that because those of your are presence? those are begging calls. Oh no no no! no they're no. not. They're she's not fearing me at all. Well, there's both of them are up there now, right? She just started calling as soon as the mail arrived. Oh okay. Yeah, I've always thought that they were making um, territorial calls at me. Yeah. There was when I visited that nest for the first time. That nest behind you there. Yeah. I was using a drone one time. It was just a tiny little drone. Uh-huh. And I was just kind of flying it up and about, and the Osprey was perfectly cool with it, wasn't making calls. But then my drone was like messing up. I was using like one of those little cheap drones. They were only like this big, uh -huh. and it was like a real tiny one. And I couldn't seem to get the controls to work, and it was like flipping upside down. <laughs> so I wasn't able to do it. And then I started walking towards it, and it's my movement that end up making the osprey make territorial calls at me and i just kept saying it's okay <laughs> i'm just grabbing my drone that's all i'm doing so i was just grabbing my drone way quick and then coming back to my camera now the osprey don't they often return to the same breeding location they always do they, they always stay do. true they stay true to their nest uh -huh. as so a matter of fact they stay so true to their nest that even if another male, like a different male comes, like they'll think it's their male and they'll end up mating together. Oh, wow. Like if, like, let's just say the male doesn't come back for a while, maybe he's late to the nest mm -hmm. and then some other male comes around. I think now I'm not, I'm not like a hundred percent sure about this. They'll, they'll stay together and then they'll just keep permanently breeding together. What if the other male arrives? And then that other male will end up just having to find a new mate then. Oh wow! Well, but usually they stay. They they stay. They're monogamous, mm -hmm. which means that they always stay with the same their, male their entire lives. Mm -hmm. So they know like when to come back to the nest, when they should be returned to the nest. I mean, the only thing that could prevent them from coming back within a certain amount of time is the weather. You know, if it could get extremely windy and maybe they're just not able to migrate back in time. Mm -hmm. Because of the because of the weather conditions are just too extreme, right? Or there could be hurricanes that that pre prevent them from coming back too. Because don't forget that when they migrate, they migrate far south. Right. All birds fly fly south for the winter. Right. So when these birds migrate, they go all the way to South America. They travel five thousand miles. Right. When they migrate, they travel farther than any other bird. 
Really? I, there's no other bird that travels further than the osprey. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Well, so so then what to make a new nest then? Is it a, is it a youthful female? Or why would they create if, a new nest? If you see the osprey's eyes, you'll notice that they're orange. Uh -huh. It actually takes a few years for them to get their yellow color. It is possible that she could be like four, I'd say four years old uh -huh. or so. Because it takes that long for them to reach maturity. Oh, okay. So that's when they'll be able to start producing nestlings is at their fourth year. Oh. So if their eyes are yellow, then that means they've been at the nest for a while. Oh, okay. This one's are orange? This one's orange, yeah. And so the male is actually older than this osprey because the male has all yellow eyes. Oh. Man, you know a lot about osprey. Well, I know a lot about raptors. I love raptors. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, I more than just love them. I totally adore them. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Yeah. And I actually want to become a falconer one day uh -huh. and raise a red-tailed hawk of my very own. 